beautiful opportunity we have and it will continue these portals will continue until I've done a year's worth so that's 12 or 13 of new moons so that will take us into next February or March depending on where it falls so as I was saying this new moon today in astrology it, which I don't really focus on that much, but this is uh, something to be really thought of in terms of how powerful it is to have two moons in the sign of Cancer, which is a water sign, which is all emotional, which is about our home, which is our planet is our home, and our home is our home, and our family is our home. So all of the things that are happening right now it's like this big cavern of I don't know. And how do we fill that in? We, we're we not going to fill it in with fear. We're going to fill it in with love. We're going to fill it in with compassion. And we're going to bring the star mothers right in to join us, to play with us. So I'm going to stop talking on the chat right now. I'm going to turn this screen, this computer around so you can see this big brass thing that I have here that is going to be my the formation of my wheel. So the other things that are in it, and if you're joining us for the first time, I'm creating the inside of the portal from the different parts of the shamanic teaching wheel. Those parts are fire, water, wind, earth, and culture. That represents you in the world, your culture, and then in the very center is what to you will represent source. So that can be what represents source. You don't have to overthink this. Let it come. You're all so intuitive. Let it just come up to the surface and be a part of your wheel. Now if you've been making these wheels right along with me, these portals, you will have you know, gone all around your house and gotten all kinds of things to bring to the center of the wheel. You've probably even posted pictures on the Lemurian Sisterhood Global Group Facebook page or the Lemurian Codes, the cards Facebook page, which is its own little private group. So thank you for that. I love the pictures. Um, they're just so powerful. They're so powerful and so unique. Every single one is so unique. And I love how we all bring that to the party. And imagine all of these circles, all of these portals, bringing in that star mother energy. Yeehaw! Just doesn't get any better till the next one. Okay, so I'm going to turn you around here. You're not going to see me. You'll just see my little... Oh, you're going to see my star mother. There she is. So this is from the book, this beautiful picture that Monica gave me. I usually have the book because this picture lives in Colorado, but not today. Because I have the picture here, I'm bringing it on board. So here is my where my portal is going to be, and these are my parts to it. So this beautiful conch shell uh, from the Mayan Riviera is going to be my water element. And I, I'm first going to put the cards out, and then I'll talk to you about all these parts. I'm going to move them off to the side and make a circle. So we begin with Star Center 11. You can see it says Star Center 11 on the back. And that goes right here at the bottom. And it will go all, we're going to build like a clock. It's going to go clockwise all the way around. And there's one. Star Center 2, Star Center 3, 4, to move this big thing, Star Center 5, Star Center 6, Star Center 7, move everything, Star Center 8, 
star center 9, star center 10, all the way back to star center 11. I'll put this down a little more. So what I've done here is just laid the cards out in a circle. I can move the star mother a little bit so I have a little bit more space. And then I'm going to bring the elements in. So we have the five elements. So we have earth right here with my pine cone. Then we have water with this big shell. Uh, and then we have the fire element. This candle uh, is the, from the Chalice Well in Glastonbury when we were there two years ago. So I'm going to light that and put that there from the Chalice Well. You can't quite see it's burning. There we are. And then for the element of wind, now this is wind, not, not air. So the little bit of difference there is air can be stagnant and wind is always moving. So these are feathers that have just found me since I've been here in Colorado. This is um, a belly feather from a great blue heron. So that was a great gift. And this little guy was up in Rocky Mountain Park the other day. You can see that it's a spotted uh, feather. It's a shaft from a flicker. And this little black one, I don't know. I don't know what that's from, but it found me. So that's the wind. And, you know, when you pick up a feather like this, you see this moving. So in the shamanic teaching wheel, we talk about a lot of movement. And then for... Um, culture, I brought two things that are both the goddess that represent me. So I'm in the culture of the Lemurian sisterhood. So I brought in this CD, which is the spiral initiation CD. Um, and that is actually from a photograph of my drum that my son made into photoshopped into the cover of this album. So that is the only, um, the only Thing the Star Mothers gave me that people can just listen to publicly uh, without having to be at a meeting. So it's the very first one um, that I made uh, that the information was, was just coming through me then in 2011. Then I also have this really beautiful hand-painted goddess uh, on a piece of wood just on a two by four and it's got spirals so of course I like it and crystals here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put her right here in the center because for me the goddess is the source and I'm gonna surround her with this is a selenite crystal right here and then a Lemurian crystal right here and I'm just surrounding the goddess with these hearts um, this is a hand-blown glass and that was a gift to me from Ruby my beautiful sister Ruby who's where I'm staying right now a lot of you may know Ruby Hendrix so there we are I have created my portal to the star mothers and if you were to look up a little you see me and you see the star mother right there yeah so what we do now is I am going to I'll say a couple more hellos. Who else do we have here? Um, we have Sheila White from Oregon. Thank you, Sheila, for being here. Uh, Nancy, thank you for saying I look wonderful. <laughs> you're, you're lovely. I, I love your smile and your face, and I love your work in the world. Thank you so much for everything you do. And love from France and love from Tokyo. So here's what comes next. Y'all get to just relax and be a part of the creation of the energy of this portal. Yeah, Eva's saying how beautiful the Star Mother is. Yeah, we had to, um, I'm going to grab my book and show you. This is kind of, this is fun. So this is how she looks on the cover of the book. Just like that. Yeah. So it's wonderful to have the big size one here. So what we're going to do now is I am going to read all these cards to you. And as I do that, um, 
How do you get an uh, image of the star mother, Kathleen? Hi, Kathleen. You can get it from me. I can order it for you. So just send me an email. We just were talking this morning, so I know you have my email address. Yeah, I'm happy to do that. Um, I'm going to read you all of these cards. I just did an initiation yesterday in the crying event, and it was so powerful to do that online. But this is just wonderful because I know you all over the earth are having a connection right now live to this. So I'm going to read all 11 cards. I'm going to read the Gaia card twice because that is our instructions from the Star Mothers. Because we come from the dirt of the earth, we begin and we end with Star Center 11. So I'm going to read all of these. I invite you all to just relax. You can close your eyes. I'm going to keep the camera pointed right at my portal, uh, my invitation to the Star Mothers to join all of us. And then we'll have a little channel from the Star Mothers right at the end of that. Okay, so... <sighs> And begin by closing your eyes and allowing your body to come into a nice soft place. A place where you feel connection. A place where you feel that you have belonged for so long and now you're finding your way in. A place of gratitude to the Star Mothers for giving us this time together. Big breath in. Star Center 11. From Mother Gaia comes the origin of your humanity, sending the frequencies of her crystalline grid upward into your crystalline structure. She is your regenerating strength. Through her, you are stabilized and revitalized. All is in divine order when you acknowledge and esteem your relationship and bond to the Earth Mother, Star Center 11. And take a breath. Just let that circulate. Star Center 1. Up from the crystalline structure of Mother Gaia, your human form rises to stand firmly on the Earth. You are rooted in her foundation, and you are your own being. From this position of stability, you discover your place in the tribe of humanity, nourishing your longing to belong to your human and spiritual family. Star Center One. Just take a breath. Star Center 2. From the cauldron of your life force, you have the capacity to conceive, gestate, and transmute invisible beginnings into manifested form. As the awakened human, each of your creative seeds are infused with a primal spark and spiritual essence. This blends you as human and divine and manifests into all your creations. Star Center 2. Take a breath. And Star Center 3. You have come into form to live your own distinct Akashic expressions. Allow your innate intuitive perceptions to guide you forward in your life's purpose the interwoven meld of your will and divine will manifests through you as unique gifts and potentials for your self-realization. Star Center 3. <sighs> Take a breath. And Star Center 4, the heart center. In the blending of your human and divine hearts, is a sacred elixir 
that is the highest form of love. Your evolved emotional vibrations are expressed through your thoughts, words, and actions from the chalice of your heart. Through the alchemy of your human divine heart, your potential to embody yourself as the cosmic human beloved emerges. Star Center 4. And take a breath. Star Center 5 at the throat. You express your divine will through sound, formed of words or tones. These arise as the harmony between your humanity and your divinity, flowing powerfully out into the world. They create your destiny. Your authentic resonance as sound current is expressed as, I am the one truth. Star Center 5. <sighs> Take a breath. Star Center 6. Deep in the physical center of your human brain, the pineal gland, the all-seeing, all-knowing eye reverberates with your awakening. This all-embracing eye recognizes an unbroken stream of balance, objectivity, and trust in the perfection of spirit's plan. Light streams into and from your portal of expanded perception as insight. Star Center 6. Big breath in and out. Star Center 7, the crown. The divine source calls you forth to celebrate your relationship to the all that is. This direct experience of the infinite divine source of love and wisdom are your legacy. Open yourself to receive the spontaneous transmissions of light and waves of divine love that are your Akashic inheritance. Star Center 7. And then Star Center 8. For those of you that don't have the cards, I just want to show you this picture. You can see the DNA and the, those white lines at the top represent the star mothers coming in to our DNA. And I don't know if you could see the little guys right here, but there are four figures around that represent the human, and then in the center is the flower of life. Okay, and this, star center eight, is above the crown. As collaborators in this great experiment, and through your Akashic agreement with the star mothers, they enter and encode you for reawakening your DNA. Your portal to the star mothers perpetually hovers above you, and an eternal etheric fiber of illumination. You are continuously and divinely suffused with the attributes of love, grace, honor, inspiration, guidance, and encouragement. Star Center 8. And Star Center 9, right here. This is the Sacred Feminine. Your aspect of the sacred feminine is the dark and mystical face of the divine. In you, she is receptive, yielding, encouraging, and nourishing. Open your right palm facing up to receive her blessings. Welcome her offering of profound internal surrender that is represented by her inward spiral as you feel the tenderness of the Great Mother sustain you. Star Center 9. And then the Divine Masculine, Star Center 10. Your connection to the Sacred Masculine is the bright and shining face of the Divine. Through him, you are forward movement, intense, consuming, protective and energetic. 
Your left palm is open and facing down to impart his vitality. Allow the penetrating potency of his outward spiral to charge and focus your transformation. Star Center 10. And then we come back to Star Center 11. The Gaia Star Center. From Mother Gaia comes the origin of your humanity, sending the frequencies of her crystalline grid up into your crystalline structure. She is your regenerating strength. Through her, you are stabilized and revitalized. All is in divine order when you acknowledge and esteem your relationship and bond to the Earth Mother. Star Center 11. And now I ask the Star Mothers to come in with a message for us. And I'm just going to let you see them as I bring that in. Yeah, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Okay. So in a place of softness, in a place of meditation, in a place of connection to your own deep divinity, bring your awareness inside. Continue to bring it inside to that place where we are all one divine source, where we are all the goddess, where we are all the Shah women. Take a breath. Dear Shining Ones, we step into this portal, these many portals that you have created for us all over the planet. And we celebrate with such great joy that you are recognizing your own origins. And we understand that you may feel that you are doing this for us, but you are doing this for you. And the us that is represented here is the us that lives inside of you. We are the Star Mother Collective. There is not one, two, three of us with you, all of you, all the time. We have told you this. We are as close as a thought. Ah, that's something to think about, isn't it? We see the wheels turning. <laughs> All you need to do is remember us and we are with you. That's simple. Because we are already inside of you. Now when you create these beautiful portals with Meliha on the full moons or any other time for that matter, you are thinking of us, you are calling us, and you are creating the sacred center of the shamanic teaching wheel. And this, you know, Meliha is opening one step at a time. So however you create your portals when you are creating them with the star mothers in mind, with your connection to your own star DNA, your own 24th chromosomes, we are with you in a big way. We tell you this. We don't need to spend a lot of time speaking through Meliha. All of you hear us when you clear away the idea that you can't, or you haven't been able to, or you don't know how. Just ask, and continue to ask. And when it is time, we will come to you. And we may come to you in ways that you do not expect. Perhaps you are expecting to channel us as Meliha does, as many others do. Perhaps we will come to you in music, or perhaps we will come to you 
through the divine form of light language. Perhaps we will come through you to you through art. It could be many different ways, more than one, or something that we have not said. So let that be. Just let that be. You don't need to wonder, how will this happen? Just continue your light focus as if you're holding, let's say, a feather in your hand and you can hardly feel it. That is how. That is how. You won't grab it. You won't let it float away. You'll just hold it lightly, delicately. And then you can hold it also in your heart because we live there. Our presence lives there. We always have. Since the beginning of our, let's call it intervention with humanity many thousands of years ago. And this is a time to mention also Finding out more for you, your uh, resonance with the nodes and the nulls of the planet. Our beloved Cryon has brought those to you, delivered them. And his partner, Lee Carroll and Monica Morani, have created a way for you to understand them further for you. Now, as you delve into them, we are activated in those 12. Now, here we focus on the portal, which is the center of the wheel of Lemuria, the portal of Hawaii, the node of Hawaii. But now that they are paired with their nulls in the crystalline grid, more and more of the nodes will continue to awaken. And you need that right now to hold this vibration of awakening for the planet. You need the crystalline grid of the earth to be neutralizing the shadows because the crystalline grid can do that faster than anything. So you may study this or look at a picture of this wherever these nodes and nulls are located on the earth. And once again, know that as soon as you focus on any of that, it is done. It is done. Take a breath. That is what powerful creators you are, beloved shining ones. As Meleha and the Shaw Woman Council speak, she is teaching you how to find your way into your power. It is already there. It is as close as a thought but it needs to be a focus to be powerful. You will be shown each step to unfold that. This is the beginning. Connecting to these portals, the spokes, the hub, and the rim of the wheel, of the shamanic teaching wheel. This is the beginning of speaking with the star mothers and the nodes and the nulls of the earth and the ascension process of the new humanity. Take a breath, please. We ask you now to place your hands on your heart and say this either out loud or to yourself. I am the new human. I was born for this time. I am my own creator.
I am a vessel of the new consciousness. I came here on purpose. I am the all that is. And I am ready for the ascension of the earth. And so it is. And so it will become. And take a breath. We step back now, or shall we step in to our beautiful portals? Let us do that. We step into the portals and we become one with all of the portals that you have created across the planet where we will remain in our interdimensional form so that we may be with all of you always until we play with you again and celebrate with you again the new moon in the next new moon. Meanwhile, beautiful shining ones, hold on to your hats. It's a wild ride here on earth. We love you and we are with you as we step in to the portal once again. Take a breath. Hmm. And take another breath, big another breath, Woo. big stretch. Woo. Well, I'm going to have to listen to that again. I'm not quite sure what, <laughs> what was happening, but I think I levitated there for a minute. Something. Thank you all for being with me today. And as I love to say, because it's so true, we do this together.